we're not going to change the job prospects for, for those people unless we change our policies. So it's fundamentally important. If, if we look at unemployment rates, for example, if we're going to become a country that is increasingly going to be non-white, then we have to look at whether people who are non-white are able to participate. The economy will not be strong if we're not all able to participate in it. If you look at unemployment rates, you know we're celebrating only 11,000 jobs being right. lost as opposed to the figures we thought we would have. But if you look in communities of color, for example, men between the ages of 25 and 34, the unemployment rates are actually 17 percent, 17 percent, and a lot of that is criminal records. A lot of those are nonviolent offenders. We should punish people who break the law, but punishment shouldn't include you never get to support yourself or your family again. And yet in a lot of parts of this country, the only growth sphere, the only growth area of the economy are prisons and the, what some people call the prison industrial complex. And they're bad jobs. Unfortunately, those uh, prison guard jobs are pretty crappy. Um, so, you know, fundamentally, we have to recognize that we have to invest in all of our ability to work. We do that with policies that say we're going to lower the barriers. We have to invest in people when they fall through the cracks so that they can get themselves back on their feet. We have to create the infrastructure investments that both create immediate opportunities and long term. I'll give you one concrete example. $7.2 billion in the current stimulus package for broadband in underserved communities. If you look at building economy jobs, communities of color in particular, rural communities of all races, and even urban communities, 40% of Jackson, Mississippi, for example, does not have broadband mm. access. You mm. are not going to be able to participate in a global information-driven economy without it. Farmers can't compete on farms, uh, but we could use that to both create infrastructure that creates telejob centers that not only trains people on the computers, but actually enables them to do jobs that are currently going overseas, um, like document conversion. So there really are investment opportunities through public dollars that can grow the economy. We've got to make sure we're targeting it in the places that are most impacted.